Hello, sixth graders. So, how are you doing? I wanted to give a little bit of a video, a little bit of an update of the class. I haven't seen you, um, and we've been, do I've been doing a lot of this. <laughs> and I'm sure you have been too. So, this distant, distant learning was not something that we asked for or chose. Some of you are probably digging it. Others of you are probably hating it. Um, it's been hard for me. I love people. Um, and so I'm at the computer a lot and it's very difficult for me, as I'm sure it is for you. So I wanted to talk about three things. The first thing is the class. Make sure that you are hitting submit and that you are coming into my classroom Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I know the day one, day two thing, but it just gets too confusing with um, all of the classes. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I will be posting. There's the check-in, which is like, do this video, answer this question, maybe a short video. Technically, you are supposed to be working for my class for 15 to 20 minutes when I post. Um, that's not that long. It's pretty minimal compared to if I really would see you in class. That's half the amount of time. Um, and again, like I'm trying to keep it simple, but also engaging. So there's those check-ins, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and then there's bigger projects. So depending on the projects will depend on how long they take. So I posted the very first project, which is the color wheel project. Um, I put a PowerPoint in. It is this. This is my example. It's kind of reflective, but this is my example that I made. I said you need at least 25 items. Mine was 99 items. So my daughter and I did 11 minutes or 11 of each. For example, we pulled random little toys, anything that is those colors, and then we put it in a circle. We took a photo and then I would upload it to that Google slide. So that is due on Monday, April 13th. So we talked about the class, we talked about the um, project, right? Um, but I forgot to tell you something about the class. There's still a lot of missing work. Um, and so just like if you were in school, I would be hounding you like, where is this? How come we haven't done this? And I know that we're getting rolling, but it's going to get a little bit more. Teachers are going to be asking where that work is just because this is our job. Like we're working here in our home. So it's your responsibility to work at your home too. And I know that it's hard to sometimes stay motivated. So the third piece that I want to talk about today is can you start saving random boxes? So I have a bunch of random boxes and bags. Eventually we're going to do a project with these. But just even in the last two days, I was like, oh, like I have like saltine boxes, cheese it boxes, any of those boxes start saving or brown paper bags um, because we're going to be doing using the brown paper eventually. So if you can have that, even a few would be really great. Um, noodle boxes, you can flatten them, right? And then keep them in your room or ask your mom and dad for them um, would be really helpful so we can start to kind of navigate what we're gonna do with them eventually. But I wanted to start to slowly save them. Um, so I truly do miss being in person and I hope that you are well and continue to email, reach out, I can call, we can video, whatever we need to do to continue to keep you on track and keep you going. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Okay, we'll talk later.